Hello, and welcome to episode 28 of the Lincoln Cast, Giant Bombs Community Guild Wars 2 podcast for the week of November the 10th. I am your host, Darren, and with me today is Self Confessed Cynic. Hello, my name is Self Confessed Cynic. <laughs> is, that, is that mocking? Yes. That- <laughs> it's fine. Did I, did I have the no, cadence good. of a robot? It's, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, also, Nubarama. Oh, oh shit! Hi. God damn it, dude. <laughs> God. God damn it! We've only so been like, planning this thing for like half an hour now. Yeah, it's like we've been, we've been sitting Skype here for, for twenty minutes of that. Well, we've been o- online since every like time, every time you're addressed, it's like we're waking you up. <laughs> like, man, I just have my hand around my penis and I am falling asleep. Ah, uh, that's how he normally goes to sleep. If you, you didn't know that, <laughs> I guess you do now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's like boy. he is like twelve years oh, old. God. So. As all, it was all I could do to just put my hand in front of my face and not laugh during that <laughs> intro. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not talking about what you said, like the hello right at the beginning. I just had to just try and no, control myself. It was and high not energy. Laugh. It was good energy, at, le- at least. <laughs> also, Vigi Games. Vigi Games. Vigi Games. What's a Vigi game? You don't want to know. Uh, it's, it's when two Digimon love each other and. Um, oh, is it the Digimon <laughs> porn? I love Digimon porn. <laughs> you, that. <laughs> that actually does not surprise me in the slightest. Oh movie. god, we've talked about Vigimon porn far more today than we've ever talked about it before. What you, that's just because you brought it up. Like, that's oh, because I've, I've never talked about, about it before. Yeah, I know, like, really. <laughs> the words Digimon porn could be uttered, and it's already more than I've talked about Digimon porn. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. How many times have we said Digimon porn in the last minute? That's probably that's probably a record somewhere, right? You with your lap counters at home, keep track. Too many. We're, we're now on a list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of list though? So, would just no, be... Thanks for that, noob. <laughs> This intro failed the vetting. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh, noob, I, I'm I'm fairly certain we failed that vetting a long, long yep. time ago. Um, yeah. I, I'm guessing it was probably you know three minutes into fuck pick an episode. <laughs> I don't know. Last week's wasn't bad, except for maybe the intro. That was it might have. What was last bad. week's? In I don't bad. remember the end. What was bad about the intro? Oh, the intro oh. last week. That wasn't a bad thing. What was that it? Was... What was it? Oh, rock me like a hurricane. Oh. That was that was Anybody fun. Anybody who was like, offended by by that, no one said anything. So whatever. Yeah, nobody said anything. Uh, we've we've done much much. I don't know worse. whether to be happy that it no one said anything or slightly disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Troll. Yeah. Right, how how right, is that so going? Little... Is your house still fucked? Yeah. It's still, yeah. My, it's my parents got dense, power back dense. a couple days after we recorded last week. Oh, cool. And I guess well, everything's okay. How Yay. bad was that winter storm that actually hit? Like, I guess it was New York. Um, shortly after, um, we got a good amount of snow up here in, at school. Um, maybe I don't know half a foot or so. But the next day was pretty warm, so it mostly melted away within a day or so. Oh, okay. Like the the local news was making it sound like snow. fucking terrible. Like it was coming down really hard for a few hours. But I don't really know of anyone that was screwed over. I know a few people that lost power again, but yeah, that's that what was like short lived. Hmm. At least from people that I know. Okay, yeah, I, th- I think it was just local news trying to kind of extend that Hurricane Sandy news just as far as they possibly could because just fucking we're in Kansas City and nothing happens here <laughs> except for Google Fiber, <laughs> except for Google Fiber, and like that's, that's are you tornadoes, now right? For Google Fiber, now that you've moved, sharknadoes, uh, tor- tornadoes. Yes, I mean, I've seen the movie. Come on, from- it was all all up in what that up? movie. That's mostly over on the Kansas side. They they get a lot more stuff than we do because it's a lot more flat over there. Um, right. We get them occasionally over here, and we did have a really bad one back when I was in high school. Um, they hit like a, a, a pretty big neighborhood and actually took a couple of my, my friends' houses out um, along the way. But fuck, I've forgotten uh, the name of the main character of that movie. Which one? The, uh, Twister? Uh, no, no. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Twister, but yes, the Wizard of Oz. Like, I don't remember any of those uh, main character names. Dorothy, that's it. There you go. What's I thought name? it was Toto. Yeah, okay. Well, that's yeah, like, Toto's the real main character. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. like R two D two. If you look at the Star Wars movies, R two D two saves the day like fucking twelve times a movie and doesn't get any fucking credit for it. It's crazy. As if we weren't big enough nerds by being on a video and then, and then, and and then Jar Jar reward. saves the day once, and then he's everybody just fucking. Plays I know, him. right? Yeah. Oh, God. Jar Jar is the best character mm. out of Star Wars. Shut up! No, you shut your over mouth. Over oh again. no, dude, that like, is not what the, I was saying at all. He's the thing that revitalized the Star Wars franchise when it was boring and dead, which was all <laughs> of it. I think the thing that revitalized the Star Wars franchise was Lucas selling it. Yeah, there you go. Disney. 
Today. About two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks yeah. ago. Oh, um, on in unrelated slash related news, I found out only yesterday, or I realized slash heard only yesterday that the first, so four, five, and six, oh, God. was directed by Lucas. He thought Steven Spielberg or some yeah. shit directed episode. No, no, I thought no, someone good directed thinking of Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I got them oh, mixed. Okay. So yeah. my entire life, I thought that the first three Star Wars movies were actually directed by a real director, and that's why the second <laughs> set of three sucked balls. And now the, the entire illusion has been shattered. Apparently, one man was you. awesome and then no, no, fucking no, I, terrible. I think, no, Lucas... George Lucas died at the end of episode six, right? Right. Yeah. That's why the Ewoks came in, and then they replaced him with a fake George Lucas. <laughs> Did Lucas actually direct um, five and six? Yeah, yeah, he directed all. It hmm. was his... That's crazy, right? Oh, I thought it was someone else. There's, Are you telling me George Lucas is responsible about... for The Empire Strikes Back? Because yes, I don't believe it. He's I, I don't believe it either. Wait, I'm going to make sure right now. Episode 1, 2, and 3. Uh, those movies are bad. <laughs> movies. Uh, except, like, Jar Jar Binks, I guess, saved those movies. God damn it. No. John Williams. John Williams saved those movies. Actually, yes. he did. Yeah. Those and movies. He came the closest to saving those movies. Yeah, the R2-D2 exactly. scene he, he at the start of 3. That was awesome. Which scene at the start of 3? No, there was no Jar Jar Binks. When R2-D2 solos, like, two battle droids, that was fucking cool. Fucking no, cool. I, I, you know what? Those movies had to exist because I don't care what anyone says. The fucking fight scene with Yoda was badass. Yeah. No, it was not. Oh, no. no it yeah, was it not was. Not both, both the one in two and the one in three. Oh, both were awesome. I don't want to see CGI Yoda flipping around. Well, and throwing like It wasn't Zion that bad of CGI back really then. really all they can do with Yoda. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, no, no hey. I went back and watched the older movies not too long ago, or at least one of them. Check it out. And... I much prefer CGI Yoda over dumbass fucking Muppet Yoda. Oh, he I love Yoda. dumbass fucking Muppet Yoda. <laughs> yeah, like, so, he looked terrible, and, like, the character was such a fucking joke. According to Wiki, oh, Empire Strikes Back was directed by Irvin Kershner. Ah, I didn't think Luke's directed and, it. And, I mean... There's I'm, no I'm, way he could have directed that movie. I'm it's investigating the others, because this makes far more sense to me. My, my world has been slightly just, like, restored. Um... Yeah, you guys continue on. I'm going to look for the next one. I, I fucking can't find it. So. It's like I knew there was no way Lucas was. Okay, he was the writer and executive producer. That's so not the same, man. The no, the well, writer. Okay. I'm pretty sure is pretty important. Well, yeah, okay, he, okay. he wrote all of them. Moving forward, because he he clearly like gave birth to and yet destroyed Star Wars. But like moving forward, like who do you think they're going to get to direct? Michael Bay. That's, fucking anybody. Oh God, anybody. I would watch that movie just for oh, the God. stupidity of it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I was actually thinking about that like that like that day when the news hit. Christopher and, and Nolan, about it. I don't know, and like it would never happen. I think I might have told Cynic this, uh, but like I don't, it would never happen because he's he's you know clearly tied up in the Star Trek stuff. But fucking J.J. Abrams, mm. like you look yeah. at that new, that new Star Trek movie and like the thing feels like a Star Wars movie. I guess what? I don't know. A lot of people are saying Joss Whedon, but he's tied up in the Avengers two, which is coming out at the same time. Oh God! Return of the Jedi. Guess who's not? Oh, actually, no, you're Fucking right. Basis. Michael Bay is tied up with Teenage Alien Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Jedi is directed by Richard Marquand, apparently. So yeah, there we go. So no, no, it's what Lucas I did not fucking make the last two. Yes, but he I wrote it. Were Spielberg he movies. Wrote it. So hey, I, I no, Indiana Jones or Spielberg movies. Yeah, those are good. For the Saving Private Ryan's a Spielberg the, the movie. Yeah. Saving Private Ryan is a fantastic Spielberg movie. It is, it is fantastic. It's just a fantastic oh, movie. Wait, why it's do you keep bringing like up Saving Private Ryan? Movie I like. Huh? What it's relevance does that have? Just, oh, it got nothing That's to like do with anything else. Spielberg movie he knows. Yeah. So he brings it up. Well, he, he brings can. it up into every conversation you have with him about movies <laughs> it's a ever. Brilliant movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I think he's a dumbass in that movie. Yes, he is. I forgot that he was. I'm going to rescue the baby. And then he gets shot. I'm going to stand out here in the middle of the courtyard when there's probably a sniper and just get sniped and die. Oh, there was clearly a sniper. They knew there was a sniper that was being shot at, but he did it anyways. Right. Because he's Vin Diesel. He should have drifted around the building, so he would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a D&D uh, player. Just yeah, he is. Uh, I would like and to see Shane Black a game. do a Star Wars movie. I'd also like to was, see Was Vin Diesel really involved in that Chronicles of Renegade? Oh, absolutely, yes, he was. Was he really? Yes, he was very involved in the Chronicles of the game. Is it Escape from Butcher Bay? Is that the one? Yes. That was good, apparently. Bay, yeah. I don't know about Dark Athena. I don't know how what his involvement was with that. But yeah, Butcher Bay, he was very involved in that. Huh. Never touched him. 
Good on him then. Yeah, he's yeah he's he's big on you know obviously you know everyone knows he's a D and D player, but he's a, a big video game dude too. Apparently, so yeah. like when he got the chance to make his own, like he was. He he was there like every step of the way to make sure that thing wasn't a piece of shit. Mm. I mean, hell, that was his studio. Yeah, really? yeah, that was yeah the company that made that. That was his studio. Hmm. I'm learning all these things just now <laughs> about Vin <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> like that's that's the thing. That's the point. Well, I knew like I knew other actors like, were just stuff. Like Robin well, Williams that, apparently snipes in Battlefield like all the time. Oh that's yeah, cool. Robin Williams is big in the games. He's huge in the games. Um, but no, like Vin Diesel. That's my that's kind of my problem with man. him. Is like I fucking hate Vin Diesel in every movie he's ever in, aside from maybe Pitch Black. But at the same time, I, I can't completely hate the guy because he made a really kick-ass game. I actually liked um, The Pacifier. It was really dumb, but awesome at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Is that the I mean, one where okay. he's like a special was, agent? Like, yeah. Oh God. A I don't know why, but as soon as you said that, yeah. my mind went straight to Tooth Fairy starring The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. The Pacifier was good because it came out right before all of those fucking movies that all of those big tough guys were suddenly – being put in these like comedies, what was that Jackie yeah. Chan one, Jackie Chan one. So like it was good because it was the first one, and then everybody else. The like, yeah. it. I don't, I don't mean the Rock. I mean the the Rock yeah, Prime. Man, the, the Rock Prime. The, 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 the Rock. The The Rock Prime. You remember from the WWE Quick Look? Oh, no, you guys. I, are I, actually, I actually didn't even watch that one. And then from TNT, you guys are playing. No, I, 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 I know what you're talking about. I just, I've just lost the thread of your conversation. Time Rock. Time Rock was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, Time okay. Rock 2, Requiem? I think Ghost Problems <laughs> 2 was not as good. Oh, sorry, Ghost Problems More was not as good as Ghost Problems. But Ghost Problems More is a fantastic name. It's a fantastic that's the name. problem, though. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the eternal problem. You make a yeah. sequel and it's never the original. It's never so. as good as the original. Except for Empire Strikes Back. WW, even in uh, WWE 13. Yeah, exactly. Except for the Empire Strikes Back. Man. That's okay. a better sequel. Well, maybe. I don't know. Looping it back around to go back and watch those. The Two Towers. Okay. The end all, no, 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 no. Two Towers is the weakest of those three films. Fuck off. It's uh, that. No, Return of the King is by what? far the best. No, yeah, okay, yeah. Two I'll give you that. My favorite. Two Towers yeah, is better than no, one. Fellowship don't, gets don't a bad rap. Fellowship is a fantastic movie. Fellowship is pretty good. It's not as good as The Two Towers. Two Towers is Yeah, Fellowship is the best movie. Is, like, is better than The Two Towers by default because it has more Hugo Weaving. Well, Fellowship is also really good because it's an incredibly good introduction movie to a trilogy. Because they managed to do a really good job of, of introducing all of the characters and connecting you with the characters, but still having a lot going on. The Fellowship was mm-hmm. so good, it allowed the second two movies to happen. Yep. Like, well, yeah. I don't, no, because no, they filmed them all at once. No, but they, well, well, yes, they yeah, would have been but, out there, but they wouldn't have been as fucking huge as they were if the Fellowship wasn't as good as it was. Yeah, Fellowship Obviously. made that, that trilogy of movies what it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except I'm going to say, though, that the extended edition of Return of the King is probably in my top three movies of all time. I, oh, man, yeah, I, I own I'm with all you. those. And the only one I've, the only one I've uh, the extended I've watched was the first one because, god damn, those movies are long. Return of the King yep. is probably my favorite amazing. of three, but. Well, yeah, definitely. Two Towers, I think, is better than the first one, still. I disagree. Yeah, definitely. I disagree. It had the Minds of Moria in it. It was great. That movie was great. Minds of Moria was in the first one. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, it ends with the bell rope. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It ends with Sean Bean getting pieced. Oh, uh, that was that was one of the best death scenes in a movie. I love that yep. scene. But, like, what movie, in what television movie where Sean Bean is good, doesn't he die? Even though Sean Bean always dies. But Sean yeah, Bean always he dies. he has to die for it to be a good film. Yeah, pretty much. Have you guys seen? Right, um, so anyway, hold on. Wrapping up the Lucas we've gone, discussion. I just want to say one thing. Yeah, I'm curious to see what Disney does with ILM. That's the most interesting thing of this whole purchase. Wait, so uh, ILM? Do they actually? They only do special effects, though. They I don't. They don't actually make yeah, cool movies, do they? The thing is, imagine like Disney with a crazy effects studio when they already have like Pixar and stuff. They can probably but do potentially what, nuts things. What does Disney do that requires an effects studio? I don't even know, but yeah. I'm curious to you find say out. It could happen now. Well, yeah, I, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. Now, now is is the time. What they do is what's going to come from this. If you guys, yeah, seen I'm really Sky curious. High. Sky High was a good movie, like that that kids superhero Which movie. One? Sky High. None of those movies are good. It's, it's oh, okay. not bad. I, so if I I can see more of that if ILM gets a it does what Disney wants it to do. As because I read up on it, I'm surprised how much ILM is still doing. Yeah, they do a lot of work for, but they do it for other studios, like entirely. Yeah, it's mostly from what Disney I can tell, like contract work. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and they're good at it. They're contract. I, work. I prefer Weather's work. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> and unethical. Okay. So we've got like fifteen minutes and haven't even actually gotten into the podcast yet. <laughs> so, so 
Hi, I'm your host, New Barama, and you're and... listening to the Lincoln Cast episode. <laughs> yeah, totally. For the week of October, November 10th, uh-huh. 2012. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Nailed it. Yep. <laughs> All right, so and I'm your host, Self Confessed Cynic. All right, Cynic, so <laughs> what have you been doing this week? Oh, God damn it. I didn't even know what's happening anymore. I, it's so easy to lose the track of the, this noob, entire podcast. Noob, stand down. Um, stand down, noob. I, I refuse. I've been recording another podcast, actually. That that happened. Yeah. Oh, wow. Trader, oh, we're not, okay, we're not okay, at moving yet. on. Come on now. That was good. Yeah, we're totally allowed to plug our own show. Come on. Damn it. You didn't no, you're even not, invite me, I wasn't on jerk. It. We'll, you just we'll, did it on your we'll own. You just left plugs. me in the... Yeah, we'll plug, we'll plug it where plugs belong. But that, that was what I did this week. Aside from that, I... A little bit of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which is good. Um, and I'm about to read Destroyer Men. Have you guys heard of that series of books? Oh, book, or book talk. I love it. Let's go. Oh, have wow. you guys, have you guys heard of Destroyer Men? Destroyer, Destroyer Men is about um, a World War II class. Sorry. Built in World War I. In World War II class destroyer that gets sucked through a time warp. This sounds really dumb. Into... <laughs> Like this crazy yeah. land where it was like medieval, like swords and sorcery shit. That's what I understand. And they're sword suddenly like sorcery, like equivalent Not shit, sorcery, equivalent shit. And they're like the superpower. They're like a, a, a floating superpower because they've been teleported to the past. That's what it's about. That sounds really. Dumb. Are they back in time or in like an alternate reality? I think That's it's an alternate question. reality. I haven't read it yet. Okay. But I've heard it's actually a really good series of magic, and it's definitely an alternate reality. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Cynic, um So. <laughs> I thought that maybe I would get back into reading uh-huh. if I kind of followed your your recommendations. Which of one books. did you read? Um, I didn't, and I'm kind of glad. No, because if this is the caliber of a book that you are you reading. Should, I think no, I might this just... is big dumb See, stuff, okay, but also right. came out highly recommended. <laughs> so, yeah, wait like, for my recommendations because like... I read way better books than Cynic. He no, reads no, historical shit. No. Um, you, read, you read boring ass historical when shit. When I recommend stuff I like watched... Monster Hunter National, you should you should actually read that. It's actually legitimate. You 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 heard the first part of that Monster Hunter International. The oh, okay. um the, the one I gave Is you that any relation to like the Monster Hunter games? No, absolutely none. And okay, exactly. good because that would just be really weird. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really yeah, weird. Dude, I was kind of confused. No, it's it, it's just like like these these books that you describe sound like terrible uh, daytime sci fi original. But movies. apparently, this Monster is a role written. Try people really like Destroy Men for some reason, uh, so I'm going to give it a try. So anyway, all right. I guess that's the that's how that goes. You know what? People also elected Adolf Hitler into power. All right. Too soon? Wait, I guess it's not too right, soon. Yeah, moving on. Just um, Wait, did you just make an American <laughs> politics joke? What? You better not have. Let's, let's not bring I politics said, into this. I said Adolf Hitler. Okay, good. I thought you were, compa- I thought you were comparing the recent presidential electorate to, uh, to Adolf Hitler. No, I would never do that on this podcast. Don't really? Be because that sounded no, exactly what you're doing. Podcast. I refuse to bring that shit on here. Good. It's I also lost twenty dollars, so I refuse to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Canadian dollars, so it's not really worth anything. No shit. Yeah. It's like ten cents. No Canadian dollars. I think they're still worth more than the U.S. I don't know. Same yeah, Australian for some they, reason. But are they, they really? Well, that's only because the U.S. dollar is worth nothing. So it's not worth you over that. And we we still have Zimbabwe beat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can actually buy. Was it Zimbabwe? One of those countries. You can buy like trillion dollar <laughs> yeah, notes. Yeah, Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> no, like some some country, their currency was so super inflated. Yeah, that's you could buy like a trillion Zimbabwe. dollar note for like five bucks, and they'll ship it yep. to you. Yep, that that would be Zimbabwe. Like, I, uh, I kind of want to do that. Fucked. Um. So anyway, all right, moving along. Uh, Shimboy, what have you been playing? Okami HD. I I'm so okay. interested in that game. Okay, so I never finished Okami. I still have my original PlayStation Two copy that I bought back in the day. Mm-hmm. Should I spend the twenty bucks and just buy the HD version? Okay. Of that? Let me tell you this. I never finished Okami. I still have my original PlayStation 2 copy and memory card with the save on it, and I spent the 20 bucks on Okami HD. So, you should do that. But why? Um, why did you spend the $20 on Okami HD? Because you if you actually it? go back and look at Okami on the PS2, right. the frame rate sucked, and it was blurry as all hell. Okay. And this is pretty much... That's kind of what I'm worried about, yeah. If... if I don't know. For me, like at night, at least, this is kind of a weird comparison. But I have really bad vision at night, so like I can kind of read things. Hold on, you'll, you'll Why see where I'm going. You can't see when it's dark. I like the opposite oh. of a werewolf, where you just suck when the moon comes out. 
No, no, no. My, when there's a contrast of a uh, big contrast of light and dark, my eyes just get all kinds of fucked up, which is why I can't watch like a movie with the lights off. That's weird. Anyway, so, is that so, so I, I've, my, my sight is similar to that. It's not nearly as bad, but like for me, it's it makes it uh, difficult to drive at night because I have a hard time seeing the road from the, um, the the headlights coming off the cars in front of me. You guys should have done the. I have a hard time seeing like I have a hard time seeing like the the lines on the road. I so basically, it's no like idea. that where like I can kind of read things, but not maybe the details. And then I put on my glasses, and it's like crystal clear. It's roughly the same thing with this because you like if you go back and look at the PS2 version, you can tell what certain things are. But as soon as you go to the HD version, everything's crystal clear. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, so that so that makes it worth the twenty bucks alone. That and the frame rate. That's kind of why I bought. Um, Is it just yeah. solid sixty? Um, no, it, it doesn't seem like it's a solid sixty, but it's sixty for a lot of the time. Really? It actually get it up to sixty? That's crazy. It's a PS2 game. No, but like I thought it actually had a PS2 emulator in there. I have no idea how that would work. I thought it. Was I don't know like, how it works, but it's it's. Uh, Fairly so. I mean, I've seen it dip in a few places, but never to the point where it chugged. Right. Well, I was going to say, if it dips from like 60 to like 40 or something, or even 30, like that's not a big deal. But it was only that for like a split second, and then it would be fine. And it was only mostly when you're going like into a town and everything's popping in. The only thing they didn't fix was Okami had a real big issue on the PS2 with a really short draw distance for detail. And yeah. that's still yeah. there. I noticed yeah. that in the Well, game. I would imagine that would be unless they, they did a full conversion. It would have to be that way. Yeah, yeah but the game still uh, plays great, as I guess you would expect. I, yeah, I, I just have, I have to get that when I saw the way it, do, it does um, what's his face text and dialogue I was just uh, I was out I have a Kami PS2 under my desk and was it was on my two playlist for this year it moved off my two did you throw it out your window uh, <laughs> okay you know how no, you I know how we talked all those weeks ago <laughs> all those weeks ago about how you're really stupid if you don't buy a game or don't play a game just because it's on Origin that's the same exact thing. What do you this mean? This game is worth playing, even if you don't like that. If what? If I don't like the way it does text and dialogue in a text and dialogue yeah. based game, fuck off. What? <laughs> what? The game is that good. What are you the game is about? that good. The game the thing, is so that everything else I, I haven't played. What? Also, like, I think what he's I think what he's getting at is like once, especially once you get past the intro part of the game, you start getting into like the actual like, dungeon crawling part of it, the Zelda part of it. There's there's likely a lot lot less. Of I the haven't dialogue finished and Dark Siders like two going. yet. I'd rather play that. I haven't finished Dark Siders two yet either, and I'm playing Okami HD. You know, I'm I'm, I'm becoming more and more glad that I didn't buy that game, dude. I I I don't know. I think the only reason I didn't finish it is because Guild Wars came out. Yeah, like from what I played of it, it looks like it got it has a bad rap. It, it seemed really good for the first okay. Because I've been two hearing hours, two and a half hours. I've been hearing like like don't bad listen to Patrick Clark things. No, no, no. Don't I don't. I don't. Jeff I don't liked it, so whatever. I, I don't. I've, I've learned that Patrick and I are like on complete opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to um, pretty much every game he's games. ever talked about. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's another example? I'm curious. I like that guy, um, but fuck off. Uh, well, I haven't played it yet, but Sword and Sorcery, I could not give less of a shit about. I played it, um, and I was not into it. Johan Sebastian ba- Joust, I think, is a stupid fucking idea for a game. It's not even a game. I play with long swords um, for, for, by pastime. I'd rather do that. So. Yeah, so I mean, like, like it, it's... Even if I haven't played the game, like, just our, our general interest in games about, could like, not be Tokyo more Jungle. Okay, that's, okay, that's yeah. an exception. So Tokyo Jungle and that. Dishonored are games we agree on. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is, yeah. Pretty much any scary game he's ever talked about, I couldn't give less of a shit about. And yeah, so. Um, I, I like the scary games, but for different reasons necessarily than he does. So I, even but, there. It's, it's wait, different. I actually like Cla- Patrick Klepek though. Some people don't like him. I, I don't Yeah, know. I like Patrick yeah, too. Yeah, I just don't guy. agree with his he, view on he, some yeah. games. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to go too far into the, the Patrick Klepek stuff, but like he, he's grown on me over, over time. I fucking hated him when he first came on. <laughs> I felt like he did not meld with the group and he did not meld with the community. Um, I'm still not a big fan of they brought him on as the news guy. And instead of being the news guy, he has decided to turn it into the indie game. Hour. Bomb indie. Yeah, but I love speaking um, with scoops. Speaking with scoops. Have you watched any of that? It's especially really because, especially because, like I, I'm just, like reading like like actual interesting proper news articles on other sites that he is completely passing up just so that he can have this quote unquote scoop on some indie game that most people aren't going to give a fuck about. Well, I know that's, we, that's we talked big... about what other sites are doing on the recent um, Scotchcast, and well, I prefer what they're doing in Giant Bomb to that any day of the fucking week. So. <laughs> I don't Jesus have a problem Christ. with Polygon. I just have days. a problem with how their site's designed. <laughs> I think it's ugly as shit. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, anyway um, you should play Okami HD regardless of what you think of the quote unquote dialogue system. Uh, so Dude, did you read any books? That's play? important to me. I didn't read this week. No, I didn't. But going back to what I was saying, you should play Okami HD. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, because I, dialogue is I really know, important I, to me in a video game. And like, for we example, were talking about this before on Mumble, and I still say that Okami and Dark Siders, the original Dark Siders, are the two best Zelda games since Wind Waker. <laughs> I, I would probably agree with that, even though I haven't played Okami. So. I just didn't really. I never got into the actual Nintendo Zelda games because of many of the same issues I have with Okami. So yeah, I'm kind of with you. Mm. I mean, it's it's kind of annoying, but especially for the first maybe uh, forty five minutes to an hour. But I don't know. It, remember the? Oh, do you remember weird. the start of freaking Dark Siders One? It just kind of fucking throws you in there, and shit's awesome from the start. It was great. It's a great game. I know, but they're so different in both tone and style. Yeah. 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 Except for maybe the general structure of the story. Yeah. But um, I just like Okami because it's it's Zelda, but sort of simplified. Mm-hmm. Meaning that, like, you're, instead of collecting, like, heart pieces or whatever to uh, get more health and, like, all those kinds of things, you just have one sort of centralized, I guess I'll call it a karma system, where you do things for people and you get these points and you can spend those points either for more health or more energy okay. or whatever. All right. And also good. all of... All of like, you know, in Zelda, you go into a temple, you get an item or like an ability, and then you spend that whole temple doing temple that. using that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then once you get enough, you need to be constantly switching between them. It's like, oh, I need this here and I need that there. Yeah. In Okami, it's all just centered around the brush. So it's one button to bring up all of your powers at once. Then you just draw whatever but you need to use. The drawing part looks like absolute... Yeah, I was going right. to ask, are, are you playing with the move or are you just playing with I'm the I'm playing with the play controller, one? and it's pretty forgiving because there's one part where you need to finish off like um, a wheel, right. and I drew what looked like a fishing rod, <laughs> and <laughs> it still accepted it, and I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, like what, what little time I spent with the game back when it came out, um, the drawing was never an issue. Like I, I, I felt like it was very forgiving. Like. Very rarely did it not recognize and what I was even, trying to do. Even draw in combat, combat, it's not too bad because you bring it up and it pauses it. So it's not like you need yeah. to like rush and get a precise slice or whatever. Right. You can take your time and make sure you're doing it right. Yeah. Nah, so you should I, play that game. No. <laughs> I, yeah. no I'm, 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 it's only 20 bucks, out. whatever. That's, it's 20 bucks. I could spend <laughs> other things, whatever. Like, I'd rather, like what? Uh, like shitty sci fi books? Oh, man. Yeah. Like commissioning awesome a Digimon porn poster? <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you play anything else other than Okami? Um, no, not really. Uh, not really. Curiosity. Does that really count? Okay, so yeah. I played a little. Uh, okay, no, well, hang on. Let, let's let's. It, is that really considered playing? I mean, is that really even a game? <laughs> it's just wasting time. That's what it is. Well, I mean, that's really what all games are. But mm. this one, you I, are like, experiencing a Peter Molyneux product. That's that's the best way to describe it. It is like the who's yeah, line okay. of of games. Everything's made up, and the points don't matter. <laughs> That oh, is God. the best description of curiosity I've heard yet. That makes me want to watch Q's line. Anyway, that, that oh. was those is such a good TV show. So there's so there's a website you can go to um, that has every episode of I Who's hate Line Drew Carey so much. Ever. You can oh, go to my hard drive and get every UK. single episode of Who's Line ever. Well, both UK like and and uh, America version. I only like the American version for some reason. You don't like I, the UK I like version, stuff, version, but... version better. You, yeah. I love the people okay. on the American version, but I cannot stand Drew Carey. Oh, Drew Carey's amazing. It's because he yeah, reminds you of great. yourself. What? Like just one to one. He's pretty much, he's pretty much Nubarama if Nubarama was white. I'm cool. a delicious flat chest. He is not. That's the difference. <laughs> I've seen you. You do not have a delicious flat chest. He used to not be. Then he lost a lot of weight. Did he? Yeah. All right. Did he? Oh, yeah, really? he lost a lot of weight. Have yeah. you seen him on The Price is Right? Come on. No. no uh, he he lost right. a lot of weight. Cool. Good for him, I guess. Um, all right. So moving on. Uh, noob, I dare I ask what you've played this week? I have been reading a book. Awesome. Moving on. Yep. <laughs> um, so the book is called Afghansi, The Russians in Afghanistan, 1979 uh, to 1978. Yeah. By Roger Craftley, who is the... Huh? See? Do you have friends? You guys are my friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have friends? Uh, we're, we're friends. Um. My dad reads a lot of those kinds of books too. Like I don't think um, he's yeah. read a book. In- what else was I going to say? Oh fuck! I, I just I'm trying to remember because it was something actually. Every time I turn around. Re- oh, okay. You know, 
so this book called Your Next Door Neighbor is a Dragon. Um, I bought it a long time ago, and I've already read it, but I'm re- rereading it. And basically, um, you guys know Something Awful, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's Zach Parsons from Something Awful. And basically, it's like a semi-fictional, semi-real book, um, fact, factual book. So it's fictional. And, um, so it's fictional. That, that's... That, yeah, there are, but like, there's obviously clear parts where he actually went and interviewed people. Okay. Um, and he just goes around finding these weird internet subcultures and just like deconstructing them for what they are. And it's actually a really hilarious okay. and that actually sounds kind of Dude, that that's is the most interesting. interesting book you've you've described on this show yet. Yep. Is that it really interesting? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's just it talks about like furries and stuff. It's really hot. Um, it's really <laughs> interesting. Um. What else have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Hearts of Iron 3. You have. I can confirm this. It popped up on Steam yep. a few times. And, mm-hmm. and Arma 2 <laughs> Operation Arrowhead. And, yep. And what, what was, what was it? Uh, oh, Universe there was Alice. one really good game I was playing, but I forget. So, t- tough luck. Tough luck. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been right. playing random PC games, really, pretty much. Uh, so, so like every week with Noob. Yeah, like every week. It's like every time I log on, he's actually playing a game. It's something I've never heard of. Or... Oh, Red Orchestra yeah. Two. I was playing a little okay. bit. Oh. Today I've heard of that game. That Steam Workshop. I've heard of that game. Mm-hmm. Um, Steam Workshop does not help Red Orchestra Two because it's already a game that no one plays because it was obsolete. <laughs> um, but the funny thing about that game is when that beta came out, so everyone pre-orders it, right? So everyone gets like forty hours in the beta. The game comes out. People generally have one hour played in the actual game. <laughs> I'm just wondering what went wrong. Like the the Arma two came out. The pre release no, it's like not that. It's that simply, game was so it's, positive. Right, but the thing is, it was so broken, just mm. broken. It was so broken. They had to reset the stats multiple times, take away people's weapons, and they and people just got fed up with it. I think, and um, yeah, they just dropped it. And that's the worst part. Where where there's like a really rede- or like a really interesting game, but it's just broken, so people drop it. And there's once oh, so you mean like Star Wars? I I don't I can't say whether or not that's Star Wars Battlefront was awesome. You no, 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 up I'm, over there. I'm, no, I'm, refer- I'm actually referring to the Old Republic. I know, I was joking. Okay, like a good Star example. Of it. Awesome. Oh, wait, like, going back, Paradox going game. back to this. Are we going to see a Disney published Battlefront three? Oh god! No, I fucking hope so. probably not. Uh, fucking probably Mickey yes. Mouse, Darth John Vader, John is going to make Battlefront three a a, a, a thing. <laughs> yeah let's lay all our hopes at that, that man's feet that's what we should does do this mean, does this mean that we're going to now see Star Wars characters in the next Kingdom Hearts maybe it, it, actually it, now that I think about it that could be interesting that, that could yeah happen. I was actually thinking about like I told my friend that and he was like oh my god but I'm like well, wait, wait, think about it this way like don't think of like the standard Star Wars characters you know think like okay, if they were no, gonna they're probably going to include Joe be Clone Wars characters uh, oh that's, that's off Cartoon Network now yeah. Really? Yeah, they're well, to whatever but Disney. But on Disney's some, channel now. Yeah, one of the Disney. All right, speaking uh, of, I'm also going to play The Sims and document my experience. That's No, you're I'm not. You're going to say you're doing yeah, that. Yeah. And then, like, speaking everything else games, you do, you don't do it. Speaking no, of some Sims games, Sims City looks dope. Sims City looks dope. God, I can't wait for that fucking game. Let's go. Oh, my God. That trailer right. was hilarious. It was great. Was that John Cleese? No, I, actually, maybe. It was it a sounded British like John Cleese. Probably John Cleese. I want to say I've heard that before, so it probably yeah, was. Yeah, I think I've heard that somewhere. That it was. It might have even been the Bombcast, actually. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, what have you been doing, Doran? Since I'm the host. What, have you, you. what have you been doing? <laughs> uh, been, Stop it. I've been playing some Halo 4. <laughs> oh, cool. right. That's a Halo game. Let's move on. Oh, yeah. great. Um, yeah. So what else have you been playing? Wait, so sure, were like, you the Halo one who hadn't actually... played the single player, or have you played the single player? No, I, I, I have actually. I played some of it by myself, and then uh, my wife and I also played some. We actually played more than I played by myself. Uh, the single player is fine. Like, I mean, as somebody who doesn't like, I'm not super attached to Halo anyway, and I haven't played a Halo game since three, so I don't know what the fuck happened in Reach or Care. And yeah, I, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Prequel, cool anyway, novels. isn't it? I don't care yeah. about that anyway. Yeah. Um, like it seems fine. Uh, the Prometheans are, are an interesting enemy. Um, I can see what they were talking about in the bomb cast where they like introduce the main villain guy and, uh, master chief clearly knows who he is, but you have no idea who the fuck he is. <laughs> right. But I don't care. Cause I'm just there to shoot shit. Okay. So I, I, I guess for, for like people who are real big fans of halo, I could see them maybe have taking issue with the, the campaign, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay, I have one question about Halo, and hopefully you know what I mean by this. Is Halo 4 a Halo-ass Halo game? 
Halo 4 is a Halo ass yeah, Halo game. Okay, like the, that's all I need to know. Number one yeah, thing Halo 4 you hear is so everywhere. much of a Halo ass Halo game that in the multiplayer, um, that, so they have like a they, they've done the one thing that and they then they talk about this on Giant Bomb quite a bit. Um, but they have the, they've done the one thing that uh, Bungie said they would never do, and that is kind of the the progression stuff. Uh, they basically just kind of stole Call of Duty's progression. Yeah. Um, and so like there's weapon progression, and as you play through, you unlock um, through gaining levels the ability to start purchasing different weapons. Um, and then you also earn, earn currency when you level as well. And that's what you use to purchase those weapons. Right. Um, so I've gotten to a point where I've, I've been able to unlock some of the Promethean weapons now in multiplayer, yeah. mm-hmm. but it's such a halo ass halo game. Fuck all that. Assault really? rifles, all that matters. Cause the crazy thing is, <laughs> or really assault like rifle. Halo. See for me, I, it would be like, um, battle rifle. And then DR. I, I've, a lot of people like DMR. I, it's, I don't know. Like it, I prefer the battle rifle to the DMR. See, I, my thing is like I, I literally m- mine is basically default. Like I like assault rifle Magnum because right. the Magnum has has the zoom, um, mm-hmm. so it kind of fills the the long range need that I that I require from it. Mm-hmm. Which basically I use it for. If there's a dude sniping people on my team. I'll just take some pot shots at him from far away right. and force him to stop sniping. Mm-hmm. Uh, but otherwise, I, I'm very much a an up close um, Halo yeah. player. I don't get yeah. to do a lot from far away. Um, that's where so the assault rifle really shines because you just have to keep your beat on him and yeah. he's down like he you will win well, that dps race well no see that's the thing though is that i i have had this this timing ingrained in me from all the time that i played halo 2 and halo 3 right. uh, multiplayer um and that's maybe why i don't switch from the assault rifle because there is a certain amount of time that you need to be firing on a guy mm-hmm. to bring him low enough that a melee will kill him yeah and then that's that's my shit and that's all that matters yep and, and so, I, like, literally, that's why my, my Halo game is so close, because I literally just do that. Like, that is my strategy for, like, every kill. Uh-huh. I'm fucking terrible at long range, nice. but you give me a short range, and I can kill a motherfucker or five. See, I was surprised in by Halo 3 that the um, the Promethean battle rifle, the one with just three-shot burst and then zoom into one shot big, like one big shot. In, in um, Halo 4. Uh, yeah, in Halo 4. That's like, sorry, did I say Halo 3? Anyway, um... <laughs> In Halo, that I was surprised that they finally came up with a weapon that I was more interested in than the uh, normal battle rifle. So I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'm, I, I might pick that game up at some point." Uh, but even then, like, I wouldn't be much of a multiplayer guy. I'd be a single player guy, straight up. Yeah. Have yeah, you any like the Spartan Ops stuff? Or um, I haven't yet. I, I'm going to, but I'd like to try to play through the campaign first. Oh, okay, because um, I was going to ask if it was similar that. to like the Call of Duty like co op stuff. Um, I have no well, idea how it's structured. The way the John Bob guys have described it, like it's very um, story light, um, and it's just kind of a general like super basic objectives, like you know, kill all these dudes to progress to the next area and kill all those dudes. Oh, okay, that sounds like so much fun. And there's like going to be fifty <laughs> of them total, so I'm hoping maybe they expand on them later. Like maybe that's just what the initial ones are, right? Uh, and, and maybe it'll get more interesting as it goes on. Mm-hmm. But I mean, even if it doesn't, like it's not like we're paying for it. That, that's something that's just they're doing that as a part of the game, and that's right. cool. Yeah. I, I was just that. curious. The number one thing in that game in terms of multiplayer that I'm interested in is doing what the Giant Bomb guys did at the end of the TNT, which is just fucking yeah. making UT-1004 all over again. Just I just turned I, that I on. wish that stuff was easier to do. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Wait, hold on. What, what did they do? I missed okay, it. They, turned, uh, they um, went to one of the maps. They, they turned uh, gravity down to low or some shit. Like, as low as um, they could without zero. I think. It was like, yeah, I think, I think it was like no shields. Yeah. Um, no, everybody no, had rockets only. It, it was, yeah, it was rockets and hammers. Um, people had shields, but you die in one hit anyway. Um, Because yeah. strike hit with a rocket. And then you'd have, it was uh, 3x jump, I think. And then um, no, they want, um, somebody wanted them to change the jump, oh, yeah. but they didn't. Right, they and realized that low grab. that would have made it so much better. So just low, it was so essentially Insta Jib. It was essentially Insta Jib UT thousand four. It was the best. I was like, yes, they, that is exactly they, what, what I want to play. What if they somehow managed to get like a Halo version of Facing Worlds? Oh, dude, well, you could do it. We could do Forge. it. Forge. Yeah. yeah, no, but but I mean, they didn't at the time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so man. If, if there was like if a mode, did that, I could maybe that. see them revisiting that game for a TNT. Oh, fuck. That would be so good. Hell, I would just go over to a friend's house that has that game and play. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't think uh, I could ever get back into U2004 itself, though, because the people oh, online. I, just, I have it. But people are so good at that game now. It's just, oh, I, don't, I, just, yeah. I couldn't even stand up if I actually go online with that. So, no, I don't know. Like, I went when they did the, the, um, the most recent Quake TNT. I actually got in there, and I was actually doing pretty okay. Or no, it all wasn't right. that. It was when uh, PC Gaming Hub, when we all hopped into Quake Live. Oh, okay, right. Um, and I was actually doing pretty okay, and I had never played Quake before. Okay. So 
I did okay in the Shoot Mania TNT. Does that count? <laughs> so, I mean, those I are the kind of games, like, they're so, like, they're such Twitch shooters that, like, skill matters. Mm-hmm. But even if you're not very good at the game, like, you can still get some pretty lucky shots and still generally have fun with it. Yeah. That's what I really like about Instagram. Like, Instagram is all about, well, it's, it's Twitch when yeah. you get to the high, like, proper play. But at low level play, it's just whatever fun. It's cool. Just shoot rockets everywhere and hope you hit something. Yeah. <laughs> I was just glad Don't. to find out that like I hadn't completely lost my ability to play a first person shooter on a console right. because I haven't played one with controller since Halo Three. Uh, you since, you since messaged then, me on Steam and just like I still all. got it. I'm like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know me and you talked, and I was just like, oh, it makes me angry at the world <laughs> playing a shooter with a controller. But that's the thing. Like, like Halo is the one shooter that I will that I will buy on a console and, and play and have fun. With. The only way, for it, I don't know if it really counts, but I'll play Uncharted, but that's mostly because if I can't, like, you know, properly aim at a dude, well, I can always person. just run up to him and melee him. Mm. That's, that's third person. That's but For me, that's different because, like, even third person shooters or third person anything on the, the PC, I will always use a uh, controller for. Yeah, well, the only thing, I, I, use, I use mouse and keyboard for Mass Effect. Yeah. Dude, Mostly because uh, Mass yeah, Effect yeah. is, is Mass Effect as well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. sprint in a straight line and get undercover. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've but, never but, used a controller on a PC first person shooter before. First person shooter, first person shooter? or any yeah. any PC game that's not a. I actually never use a controller in general well, outside the games, of the console. The games that you play are a bit different. I can maybe see why you haven't done that yet. Mm. Well, I mean, like, you're not, you're not going to use a controller to play Arma Two or CS no. or anything else, really. Yeah, yeah sure. but like but you could uh, Fallout Darn. or Skyrim, I cannot use a controller. Skyrim it would work with a controller. It's just that when I yeah. play Skyrim, I play Magic, and you cannot fucking yeah, because it becomes a, a first person shooter. It becomes a first person yeah, like, shooter. Like, yeah, a, f- a friend of mine plays it with a controller on her PC, and she she has no problems playing it. She enjoys it that way. But then again, she's also insane, and she plays with a trackball. Oh, so. right. Oh, I that's played weird. All of the Assassin's Creed games on my PC with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, think of it this way. She plays Guild Wars 2 with a trackball. Assassin's Creed with mouse and keyboard is sacrilege. Uh, it's actually apparently not too bad. Yeah, but it's, it's not it's the not original the was awful, but they improved it in the second one. I'll say that. Well, the original the all one. around was pretty bad from yeah. what I hear. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, all right. So I'm moving along. Uh, yeah, other than Halo 4, I don't think I've played much this week. Have you read a book? I have not read a book. I haven't read a book. You're not in the reading time. club anymore. I'm not. I, I never was. If I open up this drawer, I, I don't have Kindle. a copy of A Feast for Crows as well as a copy of The Hobbit. If I open up this drawer, oh God, never mind. I close the drawer. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it took Seneca a second to get that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let, let's, yeah, let's go ahead. I shouldn't be surprised, though. Um, yeah, also Barack Obama. <laughs> You owe me twenty dollars. Just, just calling him out there. <laughs> just calling him out. I can't believe you bet. Out. Anyway, let's not let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Yeah. Once yeah. you go black, you never go back. Exactly. If this oh, is God. Australians um, only, I totally so would. Getting into, but... news, uh, getting into news. Then now, now we've gone past that dark. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 so. Refer friend is coming to Guild Wars Two. Oh, God. Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, oh, victorious. Oh. You won the day. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Lincoln Cast. <laughs> yeah. We're out. Uh, okay, so moving into news. Refer a friend uh, free trial is coming. Um, What's that about? So news. November 12th, ArenaNet's going to be implementing the refer a oh. friend free trial. And it sounds really cool at first, um, but they're doing it because that that's right before they're launching lo- the Lost Shores yeah. um, content update, whatever you mm-hmm. want to call it. Yeah. Um, and the free trial is only from the 15th through the 18th. Yeah, it's a short free trial. What I'm and worried about to download and, and more specifically for two days. Yeah, well, exactly. And more more specifically, it's it's a one time free trial, and it's invite only. Yeah, it's invite only, one time free trial. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's, it's 15 it's, gigabyte download. It's a really, really, days. really shitty free trial, but it's better than no free trial. I think they worry about it, the economy. It is. Like, if, if that? I think they're worried about the economy. Like, Having free trials to games actually significantly changes their economies. Um, so I, I, I can see why they're being trepidatious, especially with how the economy is going nowadays, to um, to open it up like that fully. So I, I'm, I'm just surprised that they're doing a short this could trial. be This could just be an experiment on their end to see how it affects the economy yeah. in what, would one, what one would assume would be a really active weekend exactly. for the existing player base. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it, it's mostly just weird to me because, like, um, I, I guess I'm used to MMOs having a proper, um, not only refer a friend, but just a proper trial mm-hmm. of the game. Because, like, it's the kind of game where, um, and I guess, again, this goes back to this doesn't have a subscription fee, so there's that whole thing. But yeah. they're um, but, usually not at release, those trials. Well, no, no like this close lot, to release. A lot of times they're not, they're not at release. They should be. Um, but that's that's a whole be. different deal. Um, well, it's because there, there's so much investment that, go, that comes with an MMO. I mean, it's not like your your standard FPS out there that you'll either like or not like. And no, but no, but you think about it, like it. you have an extra what couple million players at the start playing the trial, right? They disappear. What happens to the economy? Boom, boom. At the beginning, boom. it doesn't matter. The economy will will bounce back. Eh, but like a mix. I mean, that already happens anyway. When that people. that. Well, that already happens anyway when the inevitable drop off happens. Yeah. So, but like it's the, never the free trial the is not going to affect It's just that an extended free trial is where the problem comes in. But a short free trial, it's fine. It's it's, it's, it's more like um, like noob, noob's problem. I think is the biggest of it. Like I I understand how other like people would want a longer free trial, and I'm with Shinboy in saying that they'll probably just see how this one goes first. Um, but the whole thing where you have to ask someone to download 16 gigs. To try something out days. for three days or whatever, that that's not going to fly. All right? They should I, it's, well, uh, especially in an age with download caps. Yeah, exactly. And I, I I was surprised that they weren't doing like a smaller download. Like if you if you have played the first Guild Wars, how it works is you download like a, a ten meg or whatever downloadable uh, executable. You launch that and, and it, it downloads like one gigabyte. Yeah, and it downloads one gig, and then you like log into and it just downloads progressively as you go through to new areas and zones. And that's how it kind of works yeah. out. Um, I don't think they're going to do that with this, though. I, it sounds to me like they're just going to have the normal executable available to those people, which is kind of weird, um, especially since they've done it so effectively in the past. I don't know. Well, I guess they could easily just cut out a big chunk of the content just for the trial, but I don't think them like. like I don't, that I don't know if a lot of people um, who are downloading the trial are really going to need to download all of the assets for Cursed yeah. Shore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was I was expecting it to just be a cursed shore like thing. Oh, but, okay, that works too then. Yeah. Um, just farming planks all day. That's your weekend. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, or whatever the new map is. The, that that was that from actually makes lost shore lost yeah, to, to shore. Get, get it? Not, like, it, lost shore. It, would, it would make sense if it was a lost shore thing because like they say specifically like they want want you to experience Guild Wars 2 and Lost Shores with your friends. Yeah, so I, like, if it's like a small executable that only allows the new player to check out Lost Shore, well, or wait, starts wait, with Lost Shore and then Lost forces them to download level? if they... Sorry? Does that mean Lost Shores for all levels? If, if they I want new people to experience Yeah, I think uh, yeah, they said so. that everything will be scaled up. You'll be scaled up to 80. Oh, that's silly. Yeah, it's going to be like the Halloween stuff, right? Probably? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, the stuff for just this weekend is I don't know about the new zone. I don't know if that's been confirmed. Or that's not happening oh, this weekend, know. is it? That's crazy. Well, next. Did week. I say this yeah, weekend. Like the coming I weekend. Next weekend. The coming weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. this goes up on like Monday. So that 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 interesting. I I can't wait for that. Well, I can wait, for, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> and <we're stunned. laughs> well, Which one is it? So it'll be, in, it'll, it'll, be it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how they handle a refer yeah. for a trial. Like to me, I'm a weird case because when I think of what's going to be, ha- what's my big news this week, it's Persona 4 coming out on the 20th. That's what I've been like really looking forward to. What do you to. mean? That game's been out for years. I- I'm going to play it again. It's going to be awesome. Um, well, that's, 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 still two, that's still two weeks away though. Or a that, week and a half. Yeah, but oh, like, that's, that's this week. do you guys have any people you would give oh, these no, trials to? Because I yeah, know a I do. Of people that I, would um, actually give I, I might, but it's, it's more so it comes back to that issue of will they be willing to download the yeah, that, that giant file to come in and play it. Like yeah. I have friends that are interested in the game that haven't bought it, but I, I don't know they're going to be interested enough to download 16 gigs. Yeah. I guess I could give them my ex- executable on like a hard drive and then give it to them. But, but they would still have to download all the other assets. No, man, like, if, if he gave him his whole like, like it was two file. folder. Oh, okay. Like including the, that, the that isn't a solution that's particularly applicable to many people out there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. well, I think arena nets catering this game to me. So I don't think give a shit, you know, <laughs> Right? Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, sure. I don't give a shit. But then um, again, I don't actually have friends. They're they're imaginary. And they I thought we were your friends. <laughs> huh? And we already we, played Guild Wars 2, so. Yeah. Um, Wait, do we? It's out, isn't it? I haven't played that. <laughs> oh, shit. I haven't played any of that game. This trailer, that was nuts. It's like 28 8 2012. Yep. 
Yep. Yep. So moving on. Um, <laughs> no, so just quickly. Gilmore, uh, okay. Durin, because you kind of coming at this from the opposite perspective, where you're used to like extended free trials, right? Is, is that what you were? What was your argument that you were well, building up to before I brought that? I will say, I, I will say, I, I was at one point used to extended trial uh, mm-hmm. free trials, but um, it seems like that for whatever reason, MMOs aren't doing that anymore. And I, I know Star Wars kind of did something similar, where they only offered a very limited trial right. um, to it as well. Mm-hmm. And it just like to me that seems so odd for an MMO. There, there's so much of an, of an investment from the player side yeah. um, coming into an MMO, and it's not the kind of game you can read the back of the box and just know like, oh, this is the game for me. I mean, there's there's so much more more to it. And so like like free trials are what get players into these games. A free trial is what got me to play WoW back in the day. Whenever I was playing Final Fantasy XI before that, right? Uh, you know, if, if if not, and and I guess. It's it's either that free trial or the open beta period that some MMOs will do, and the, the fact that this game did not do an open beta, in fact, they did a very very strict closed beta. Um, mm. I, I guess when it came around to them doing some sort of a free trial, I expected it to be maybe a little bit more open and a little bit more inviting to bringing players in. So, what do you think is this? Do you think that what do you think is implied by the fact that they're considering doing free trials going forward? Um, is there anything implied? Is this just like what MMOs end I don't, up doing? I don't think it, yeah, I don't think anything is implied. I don't, I don't think this is like, oh god, do they think that you know? Are there not as many players playing now? Do they need need more people in like that? I don't think that's the case. I think it's more so they are launching a, a large content update, and MMOs always do some sort of a free trial. Okay. Um, it, MMOs always do some sort of a free trial, and they always they also generally do some sort of a refer a friend. Mm-hmm. And Guild Wars Two like. Arena that's kind of experimenting, it seems like, with combining the two. Yeah. And uh, so, as another, like, um, piece of supporting evidence, like, when I look at Guild Wars 2, um, the, the easiest way for me to tell how successful the game is is the in game, like, gem economy, specifically, because you can kind of tell by looking at that to see like, how everything's going in terms of the overall player base. Um, the fact that it went up to 50, uh, what was it, silver per 100 gems order was. Um, for the Halloween weekend, then but it didn't keep going up. It just kind of stayed at fifty. Means that everything's going pretty well at the moment. Because if it yeah. kept going up, because a, a increase in price there would indicate that would um would reduce how easy it is, obviously, to get gems. And the fact that people are still investing in-game time and therefore gold into gems to get that tra- tra- conversion and therefore drive that price continue like to stability. That's a good thing. It's a hard point. Yeah. It's a hard. It's a hard well, economic point to to discuss. But yeah, and and even looking at it on on more of a surface level, I mean, we're we're how far in now? When, where, how long has it been since they released? Two and a half months. Yeah, months? almost okay. three months. So like so, so we are we are to a point now where you don't even have to look too hard in an MMO. Like you stand in the main city and see what population is like, and or go to you know a leveling zone and see what population is like. And in Guild Wars two, at, at least on on Yak's Bend, it's still pretty damn healthy. Like yeah. On weekends, you'll still get an overflow in Lion's Arch. Um, weekdays, maybe not as much, but you go to any zone and you'll still see people running around. It, it's easily the most healthy I've seen in MMO, um, you know, probably a month and a half on. The crazy thing is you kind of see someone everywhere. Like for me and Noob yeah. jumped back into the game and we were in um, a raw. Uh, we were finally finishing off the story with like, us two, Laura, anyway. Um, and and there's so. There were people running around Iraq, which is kind of cool. And but and then I, after that, I um I ran over to some of like the middle middling areas, so like the level thirty to forty zones and stuff. Um, and people still running around there. Like straight, for example, Harathi Hinterlands still had people running around those big dynamic events there, and that, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, like I was um in Timberland Falls earlier, or Timberland mm-hmm. Falls, however you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, and I was getting a skill point there, and me and like two other people fought our way up through all the mobs up to the skill point. Who I just sort of happened to wander across. Yeah, so it's so, still going pretty well. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and again, like like as somebody who has played a lot of MMOs, the only one that I've seen, um, you know, consistently have people not only just you know chilling in the city, but but like you said, kind of around in zones while you're doing stuff, has been WoW. Like I have not played another MMO that was that. Um, oh, really, populated. I actually didn't know that. I thought yeah. this. I thought this was relatively standard. No, because generally this far in, especially once you hit the two month mark, uh, this far in, you, that's when you you'll really see like the large drop off of people. Yeah, um, you did see. So the thing like, is, what, I feel, what, what I feel like it's seeing. different here because there's no like free month included with buying. There's no right, right. Um, but more so like we, when I say there's a huge drop off, where you'll notice it the most is in the leveling zones. Yeah, 
So you'll you'll go and you'll level another character, and you won't fucking see anybody. Mm. And, and to because some extent, the people like, who are still playing are mostly all max level at this point, and they're working on their progression stuff. Yeah, uh, that's kind of the thing, right? Because to some extent, a lot of people are going back and doing stuff because of world completion, um, legendary farming, that kind of stuff. And that's all yeah. supported by the whole like level scaling thing. Like I I, I was well, running and, around throughout the Interlands and having fun, even though I'm level eighty. And even even beyond that, they also you know they're they're making new characters, which shows an investment in the game yeah. that, that I don't tend that's to see true. as much in other MMOs. Yeah, like, like Shinbo is on like almost full level and his max level is alt, right? You're level like fifty. Yeah, my always uh sixty three now. Yeah, crazy. Uh, and I, uh, I, uh, I was talking to I was talking to a friend of mine before. Um, I was helping him like. Uh, fix, finally, like finalized the look on his mesmer, so he got a uh, peacemaker great sword and like yeah, most yeah, of yeah. the armor set that you had, Duran, on your Ellie, and that character is yeah. like level eleven. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, Whoa. well, I have a full set of, of of I guess you'd call them level eighty weapons on my yeah um, on my Ellie. I have four down transmuted weapons on my Ellie. Yeah, <laughs> it's a twinking full effect. Jeez. Twinking, yep, twinking yeah. is here. Yep. And again, like those are the things that you see in healthy MMOs, not so much in ones that are, you know, maybe hemorrhaging um, a player base. That's good to see. Right, again, it's still a new. I want to go to pre-searing so. Ascalon right now in the original Guild Wars and see how many people are running around. Oh man! <laughs> oh god! Don't oh, you man. like? I just I'm wondering. I wonder. No, I think a better idea would be how many districts are there in Comedon? <laughs> oh, just I'd say no, just one, not just, just one. one. Just one. No. I would say there's at least two. I doubt I, I, it. I, I strongly honestly, doubt I, it. I was surprised when when Cynic and I went back um, pre Guild Wars two launch and played that we actually like in the the um, yeah that was that was the pre steering right where we had to yeah. face against the other people yeah. that there were actually there were other dudes that we had to fight yeah totally. like I was I was surprised Wait, that there really? were actually other people there yeah, yeah. on the, really? was on the another transition transition little like, PvP arena when you go out of pre yeah exactly yeah I haven't oh, encountered really? that PvP arena in forever because there's never anyone to fight there, there. was totally people to fight we were totally fought people Jesus we were surprised and, and we and we beat we beat them and then we felt so bad because yeah. we knew they were gonna sit there forever exactly because it's like oh <laughs> oh man anyway but yeah that's, that's should have made new right. characters and just lost to them speaking yeah. of Guild Wars one. Uh, the Guild Wars one names that were being held have been released. Oh, now. Fuck high you. quality segue. That was good. Like that it. was actually legitimately good. Um, Guild Wars one names have been okay. So the ones that are probably released back to the public are Clouds Drive. Um, what was it? Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, Darth Vader is probably check that. available now. Blue Fire. <laughs> Sex lady. I was gonna go back and grab all like my old Guild leader's name and everything because I know that's not taken and just like Lord yeah. Kelvin. All these assuming guys assuming back, that those people, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like assuming those people didn't transition to Guild Wars Two, like a bunch of people didn't transition to Guild Wars Two, and I assume many of those people had good names. So I bet or, there are a bunch of like died. they probably obscure just ones. died. Oh, God, does this mean we're gonna start seeing all the Sephiroths again? Oh, oh dude, Sephiroth triple zero X X X Sephiroth. That, <laughs> yes, Sephiroth <laughs> X Sephiroth X. That would be awesome. I want that so bad. Oh. I saw my new You're favorite name today to in Lion's Arch. <laughs> Kung Fu Treachery. Just oh, because that's I was thinking name. to myself, <laughs> that's a good I name. what Kung Fu Treachery is. It sounds like a bad <laughs> Hong Kong 70s action movie. Damn straight. <laughs> you mean good Hong Kong 70s action movie? Oh, of movie. course. Yes. Of course. Yes. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, exactly. Like, like John Wu. Well, I have a bunch back, of names to you from the original Guild Wars that I never ended up getting to, and I probably never will. So, Aww. meh. And they're not like good names that people would actually try to take it would be like like Kung Fu Treachery. Of the bra or broham deuterino yeah <laughs> yeah size oh, oh and and fecal matter and horse meat pastries those okay. were the characters okay. i didn't yeah. take back well, well done well done i'm sad you didn't bring fecal matter back in yeah he, i, mean, I actually was, really wanted to get horse you'll meat be remembered pastries, and I'm, I didn't. I'm way more happy with my give two names like human warrior is my main and then i've got evil yeah, doer man. I have to yeah. bring it to you, the protagonist Human Warrior is a terrible character. name. Human Warrior is the best name. I love it. I Human love Warrior it. Human Warrior is a terrible I name. I love it. And Evil Doer Shinway is has been holding name. that in since before launch, by the way. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I was like, I don't have the heart to tell him that Human Warrior I, is a fucking terrible I name. I fucking love it. I love it. But yeah. It's not as good as the protagonist. It is not as good as the protagonist. Oh, no. The protagonist, the protagonist is, is, is next level shit. Name. Yeah, that's a legitimately awesome name. But and I've got both of them, the main character too. <laughs> why would I why would I want horse meat pastries when I'm exactly. the protagonist? 
I don't know because I actually do want horse meat pastries back. <laughs> Wait, are the name or actual? Actually, it's probably not taken. No, he it's, wants actual horse meat pastries. Probably not taken. Okay. To be honest, they're delicious. Yeah. <laughs> no one would uh, until someone listening here <laughs> creates a character called yeah. horse meat. Yeah. Pastries. Okay, we got you. Got to claim it before this you, podcast. Yeah, goes yeah, up. you got to yeah, get on there immediately. Get on but, that shit. Okay, then I guess I delete the vault vault dweller, but the, I like the vault dweller because I like <laughs> vault hunter. I guess I'd just have to buy gems with money. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Oh shit! What was my what was my beta name? What was my name in the beta? It was awesome. Uh, I was uh, crack the police. Crack the police. Crack the police. I, I, I might, might remake that guy as well. That was a good name. I'm gonna take it right now. <laughs> you're, just doing, you're, you're not gonna make him as another warrior, are you? No, probably not. You're not gonna be one of those people. No, not. I, I have a warrior, guardian, and mesmer at the moment. I have five human guardians. I just make him as Nelly. Play Ellie anyway. They're good. Uh, I don't yeah, know. you should. Oh, Ellie's are really fun. There's a bunch of Ellie's in the guild there. Like, did you guys finalize your characters yet? Like all of them? I have five. Uh, no. Yes, I have seven. Wow, you have Jeez. seven. I'm gonna have uh, a level eighty. I, I, of I, have, each, well, I have seven eventually. because I went and bought a character slot and yeah. uh, it gave me a free one. Oh really? Wow. So, oh, if so I had known that, I would have bought one too. <laughs> so it, it's funny because actually, I bought, I bought the character slot. Said. Well, I bought the character slot because um, I wanted to make a thief. And then when it gave me the extra one, I was like, well, I figure I'd you know, go ahead and fill it up now before they decide to take it away or something. <laughs> um, so I made a Necro, and I've just been playing the Necro instead because Necros are fucking badass. Necros are pretty cool. Right. Necros are so pretty at this point, they're, I they're have not that great. a Mesmer, a Necros Ranger, are great. Tim was uh, a hater. Here I don't like Necros. <laughs> well, you have to think. I think of everything from a dungeon perspective. Yeah, that's true. And condition builds and dungeons. Mm. Well, you can do a non-conditioned Necro. Yeah, it just sucks. Minion Necro. Eh. Uh, Necro's good in PvP though. So yeah, Necro's okay. That could be my PvP they're really tanky in PvP. PvP. That's wrong. PvP. Yeah. yeah. All right. So they're moving saying, on. There, there's not much we can. Beach. There's not much more we can really say about Guild Wars One names released. Go, go get them. I guess. <laughs> you want Cloud Strife? I think released like the end of um. What is it called? The Head Start Access. I remember they, them. You know, they, sh- they should have released a, a list of all the names that were released just so we could laugh at them. Man, I would man. recognize a bunch of names on that list. <laughs> I, uh, I, so I wish people. there were you could do inner caps because I'm really consider sitting here considering. Oh no, Ephra, just like people that like people Rambo. would abuse that. People just yeah, alternate man. letters just because they it. can. I would love I'm, it. I'm glad they don't allow that, and I'm glad they don't allow special characters. Oh, I love both. <laughs> Why would you want a question mark or like oh, an percent like upside down name? question mark? Because you're oh, man. real <laughs> Omaha. And if you could like. Um, El Fuego. <laughs> no, just just make it in Fuego, like a question yeah, with exactly. the upside down one in the middle. Oh, yeah, man. exactly, exactly. Obviously my character Porque. That would be my name. Oh man, I want my Ellie to be named El Fuego. God damn it! <laughs> See, <laughs> see. But a question like El Fuego. <laughs> well, no, I can still do El Fuego, but now I, I know. I, now I genuinely want a fucking Ellie named El Fuego. <laughs> Maybe I'll do, no. Fuck it. I'm deleting my warrior. And I'm nice. making a warrior named El Fuego. What's happening? This, this makes me no, want no, to do a guardian just the because they light people on fire. No, because I, like, I like I like my guardian. Like, like characters, because that's just like more later that I'm going to get my birthday present when those things roll around. <laughs> Remember, Shin boy, my, my guardian's name is Ian of the Guard. He is never going anywhere. Oh, God, oh, God damn it. <laughs> what would you do if I dropped 10 bucks on a character slot and stole the name El Fuego? <laughs> I would find out where you live. <laughs> you know where I live. You already know where no, exactly where. Right oh, okay. I would find out exactly where you live because I know Noob has that information. Mm-hmm. Noob probably, probably does have the. Noob probably has probably. all the information. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know when everyone came on the plug DJ. Noob is actually today? the shadow broker. Now you have all their names. The now you have all their names. You are the fucking. <laughs> Noob being the shadow broker is a scary proposition. <laughs> I found albino jerk on Facebook, and then I found. Um, See, I everybody out? listening, this is why you don't friend or like or whatever the facebook like, account yeah do not touch the link cast do, facebook page noob has all of your information all of it oh, why would you that. want that <laughs> even if even if it's not on your facebook he still has it yeah. <laughs> i look at all the people following the twitter page and then i cross-reference the twitter pages <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> and then i and then i have this text file linking cast internet friends where I, and then he just uh, looks at your profile picture and just csi style just goes enhance <laughs> <laughs> and then I pulled down my pants. <sighs> was there any other news this week? Was there anything else? I, I don't remember. Uh, there was just there was one more thing we were going to talk about, um, and that was the post um, recently showed up on Guild Wars Two Guru um, about the recent market shifts um, in Guild Wars or Guild Wars Two. Okay. Um, so there were there were a couple things that they addressed. Uh, one of them was oh, is that legendaries post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was on the official um, forums too. 
okay, okay, that's probably where this pulled it from. Um, so like, they've recently gone through and they they've banned um, a bunch of bots from the, from the game, Finally. and in doing so, it's kind of caused a large shift in the market. Um, the first time I saw a bot was the most obs- like just the weirdest thing because that. Like Actually, I, I was, hadn't seen one yet because I was running around. Um, I see them every so often. Frostfell Gorge, I think it was. Like, uh, Frost Gorge Sound. Frost Gorge Sound. That's Frost the one. Frostfell Gorge. Frost Gorge. Where are you? Yeah. An idiot? Frost Gorge Sound. Uh, and I, I was like, I was just like running around. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I think it was just getting all the waypoints. And um, there was like this blob in the distance, and I walked towards it, and then I was, I, I, it was just like stood, stood there confused because it was like this ever shifting mass of like multiple characters. Um, standing naked. on the same like point and just like naked? firing different directions, like all, like all their projectiles. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" And I, and I walked up to it. And I looked closer. And it's like, yeah, there's like there's like multiple char and like an asura and it's just weird amorphous mass of characters. Um, and apparently that's a bot. And I was like, "Holy shit, that's the weirdest thing." It was like an, a really interesting in-game effect seeing that many things stacked on top of one another. One <laughs> that <laughs> many juvenile thing. bear. Brown Did you just bears. see gloves of like? 15 people named Zing Yao Fang oh, or I, I, stuff I, like that. They're com- it was, they're it was so crazy because when you, when, you, when you moused over it, like all the names just form like this unreadable clump. It was just like so many <laughs> It's great there. when you go to report them and you'll get their profile names. It's like ASDF.9462. <laughs> Sigh. But yeah, I was, that's the one thing I liked about bots was just how crazy that was. But bots are terrible. So. Yeah, so but so, so the... Al Brown Bears... <laughs> so the the banning of the bots has caused you know like like I said it's kind of some some pretty large waves in in the market and and prices have gone you know dramatically up on a lot of in game items. Some um, of them, and, like, and Ectos are still the same. I, some of them, are, yeah, have gone, gone way up. No, that, that's still that nineteen last time I checked. Yeah, but they were like at thirteen. Oh, oh where are they? Out. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, okay. That so that, they're back um, up so, to pre. So that's the crazy thing. I left your back up to, to what they should be. From, yeah, yeah, exactly. People and, were and complaining that like yeah, oh people were complaining about it so, so many prices went up exactly. And, yeah. and so basically, Arena Net came out and said like they addressed it. They're like, look, we know prices have gone up. It's because we've been banning all of these bots. The prices are now more in line with what they should be, and yeah. and the prices will actually you know start to go down when more players are entering the market and less bots. Mm-hmm. Um, or or not not less bots, but the bots have been removed, and so now there's less players that are that are in the market, and therefore the market prices have gone up. Just you know, basic supply and demand. Yeah. Um, but as more more players then you know enter the market as well, those prices will start to go down. And it'll it'll get more reasonable. Well, the crazy thing um, is, um, like I left Guild Wars two for a while because of work, and then I came back, and prices were the same. And in in the the interim is when the bots got botting got crazy, and they got was killed off again. So like it's it's as if people have forgotten that only like a month ago these were the prices. So it's just like what the fuck, yeah. get over yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So the other thing that they addressed uh, was. Um, a lot of feedback they were getting that legendaries were becoming unreachable. Can I just um, come out and say that those people who said that pussies, pussies, <laughs> absolute pussies. Because we like Hardly some people in our guild are, are like a third of the way there, or like a quarter of the yeah, way. I have. There, right? well, I'm not a third of the way there. I have like four different pieces. Right. That's about it. Okay. Because so um, it, it, what, it, what, it, what it comes down to with the pe- people that are thinking that those are becoming unreachable um, is in regards to the uh, the precursors themselves. Right, which is fair. Uh, yeah. So, so you're talking about like the, the actual like weapon that you have to use in the Mystic Forge to make? Yeah, yeah like, like Dusk yeah. or Dawn Skin or Dawn. Spark Zap, which I think is really ones that are. Yeah, I don't remember. That's all the names I know off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so it's something that they've been watching, and they said that they um will we will see changes addressing that in the next build. Um, so so a lot of people are are seeing this as legendaries are going to become easier to get. That's not necessarily the case. It's more so that. They're going to address something in there that's going to make the precursors themselves easier to get. But I imagine this probably had something to do with the bots as well, right? Probably. Uh, I don't, how so? Uh, like, what's the process of getting a precursor? Like, you have to forge it with You stock, chuck right? them into the Mystic Forge. Like, say for a great sword, you chuck four great swords, rare or exotic. I think of 74 or 75 or right. higher mm-hmm. in, and get lucky. And weren't people just crafting those to, to get that going? Yeah, like that was and and the botting was making the crafting components really really fucking cheap. So uh, I guess it will totally affect it. Yeah. So yeah, I imagine you know they're they're gonna it's something they're gonna address. Likely it was something that was as a result of the the wave of bots they've they've removed from the game, um, and it, it's it will get better. Legendaries will become easier to get, but at the same time, like 
they're becoming easier to get in terms of of you know the, the prices on on that stuff going down. But I don't think that they're gonna they're gonna actually make legendaries easier to get. No, I, in one of the posts, legendaries are one of the posts the dev said like something along the lines of like rest assured legendaries will still be legendary or something like that. Right. Yeah. Which. Hopefully that's true. Um, if they know. change the recipes to like, so you don't need some parts, I'd be pretty pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do it, do it. <laughs> the only thing I can see them doing aside from the uh, the precursors is increasing the success rate on the Mystic Clover recipe. Because that, that be you good. have like a yeah, be, you have like a thirty nice. percent chance of getting a clover and seventy yeah. percent of getting other assorted things like ectos yeah. or something. Well, I, mm. they, or they could just fucking take the. R- I, I hate RNG. That, that's just that's just a baseline thing for me. But it's whatever. it's the gift of fortune. It's, yeah, I know. Or, yeah, well, yeah, it's kind of a necessary component for that. Whatever, I, because you can get zero, right? Like if it, for me, if it was like, um, if you but the thing is, you never get, get nothing. At least one. You never you never get nothing. You never get nothing, but you you do you can get no well, clovers. And let, yeah. let's let's remember here too, though, is the reason why this is okay is this is all optional shit. Right. Yeah. Like, I none guess. of this is going to make you a better player. And you player. need such a weird number. You need 77, which is such a strange number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's... Um, Maybe if I, I do the... You should need 777, clearly. Let me, let me do the cool. math on this. Um, what, what was I going to say? Yeah, because, for example, I just got a bunch of endgame gear. I'm not fully kitted out, but I'm almost there. And I'm essentially oh, okay. stat, like stat maxed on my weapon, my Wait, armor. I, and I none figured of my out, you guys. Yeah. According to the percentages that people have been running, if you do it 250 times, which is like a stack of everything, you should get 77. That's cute. Or thereabouts. All right. That's what. That's pretty good. It said it's a it's around 30 percent. So I just did 77 divided by 0.3, and it gave me 256 and change. Yeah. So that's pretty so. good. Okay. What is that for exactly? Mystic Clovers is um, born of the components of the Gift of Fortune, which is one of the main four things you need. Have you got that yet? No, okay. hell no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have the, the world completion one, the AC one, and the 200 skill point one. So how many people that, that have legend, legendaries do you think actually legitimately got them? I, I guess I shouldn't say legitimately. How, how many of them do you think got them through actually doing the work in game? And how many do you think just kind of bought their way to them? Um, how many did the work in game? None. Because I, I, I've, it. I've talked to, like just via PM, maybe five or six people who have legendaries. And every single one of them said that guild members or friends or someone helped them with the money. Okay. Right. See, that's what I was wondering. Like, like, like when you were describing like how many times you would have to do that just to get the the necessary seventy seven. I'm, I'm I'm thinking like this game hasn't been out that long. How in the hell would one person have had yeah. the time to do it's, that? It's Much like less the first to eighty people. thing. Like the, the, they yeah. are from group efforts to make one of the night. Yeah. Like one guy said, he got most of it by playing fourteen hours a day every day for like two weeks. Right. But with like the last fifty gold or a hundred gold or something, he got from guildies. There you go. Which is still a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I, okay. I sh- we should probably thank the guys in Lincoln Forest for helping Thorops get his. Um, oh yeah. Icon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. He finally got his commander thing, and we're working on our second commander now, which is cool. I, I like that. It's pretty awesome. You guys should get me a commander. No. And who's the the second commander we're working on? Uh, uh, is it, uh, fuck, I've forgotten his name. Moonlit. Yeah, Moonlit. Moonlit. Yeah. Yeah, Moonlit. You guys should get me a commander because I don't know shit about Wovo, but I won't take no shit from nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. You know, I would be all for it if it weren't for the fact that I don't know shit about Wovo. So don't <laughs> give me a commander. Yeah. No, I'll, the only I'll reason I'd want a commander. I'll follow the commander. <laughs> the only the only reason I would want a commander is someone's like, "Yo, bomb people go here." But like, no, fuck you. We do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that case, buy me a commander. I want now. <laughs> only a hundred gold. Yeah. Only. That? That, that's only like what? Oh, that's all. Two, like a, it's a lot of money. It's like eighty. That's like two hundred bucks, right? Some some crazy thing like that. They should change the requirements yeah. for that. What? The There's too many commanders. Oh, There's too many commanders. Make it more oh, difficult to get. More, so, that, well, that's the thing about the commander thing is that it's going to be to a point where like everybody eventually will be a commander. Yep, which is why they should make it like uh, either badges of honor plus money or something because you at least need to do worldly world to get that. I agree. Just badges of honor should be yeah. part of it. Badges yeah. of honor should definitely be a requirement. I don't that's... like how the commanders are shown on the PVE screen. It's so annoying. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck off. That is like, kind of I've, weird. I've like, seen I've seen a few people disabled. that always wear their commander things in LA. Yet I've seen them in Worldview World and they don't have them on. It's like they just got them because they had the money. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Which I, I mean, if that's fan. the case, if they're if they're turning it off when they go to Wub Wub, then you know, whatever, good on them. Like you know they know they're not trying to scan anybody. There's 20 <laughs> commanders on a server. If you want a commander, you have to buy it off another one. <laughs> no, because then the, 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 see, the problem you have with that is then like a player stops playing the game and they were a commander yeah. and now that commander slot is just lost. Or if you're inactive for a certain amount of time, you have to, it comes becomes open again and you have to pay a certain fee to get it back when you come back. Or one commander per X amount of people in your guild or whatever. I don't know. Eh. That could be interesting. They need to limit it. Yeah, there does, mean, there does need to be some sort of a hard limit on it. Because Fu has like, like said, 15 commanders. Yeah, because like I said, eventually it's going to get to a point where like everybody that's running around is going to be commander, and that's not going to help anybody. No, I don't think it's <laughs> Super gonna, commander. There's going to be a lot of commanders. No one's is never going to be like even more than 25% of people with commanders. Uh, still, even like 5% is way too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you, 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 the whole point of, of it is to see it from far away and know that that's where you need to be going. And when you're seeing them all over the map running in all different directions, that's not good for anybody. I agree, which is why right. I should be the only one in the entire game. <laughs> well, no, you, you, you and Thurb. Thurb does an awesome job with it. Okay, so. yeah, me and Thurb, only two. I'll switch to a different server so we can face off against each other. <laughs> Thurb would win. Mine isn't. Oh, yeah, he would. Yep, oh, yeah, Thurb I have would. no doubts. <laughs> but you know what? My people would be more inspired. <laughs> inspired by your dubstep? He's terrible music. Uh, dubstep no, and speed metal dubstep. and... And they would be pumped up, but they would just get slaughtered. That would be a good demoralizing effect on your troops, shouldn't boy? <laughs> but he would have one million troops. He's such a hater. Um, I would have one million troops. God damn it. You need but they'd that be like one funny. million Iraqi not troops funny. or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that pretty much ends the, the new stuff. Um, we, we really pretty much don't have anything else to talk about on the show other than karaoke night last night. Oh, God. Amazing. Jesus Christ. Amazing. This is crazy. This is like. This is so, one of the coolest things Licking Force has ever done. I have to say, yeah. It was so this is why this. Is, if you ever, if you want a reason why why you need need to join our guild, just go to twitch.tv slash Duran and check out the karaoke video and watch our our TA Explorer run and how amazing it all was and how Journey brought us to the end. The most Journey <laughs> and Bon Jovi. Jer- Journey and Bon Jovi. Well, and Meatloaf. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Chris Aaron's inspired meatloaf oh, yeah. solo. Dude, he just oh, he that, fucking that. rocked that song and for the whole song. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was oh, that's, that's so not crazy. a short song either. Yeah. That was like eleven minutes. Jesus man. That was <laughs> crazy. Was it. Yeah. But so yeah. for I, I guess for, for context, uh, we decided last <laughs> we should probably night say to what run. this is. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. We decided last night to run uh, some TA Explorable, and kind of at the last minute, uh, Shin Boy decided he was going to uh, set up a jukebox. Well, it, it wasn't just that; it was like I was going to have power metal playing. Chrysarian right. was yeah. going to have power metal playing, and then you were going to have power metal playing. So I'm like, instead of everyone listening to their own stuff, I'm just bring my jukebox on, and we'll all listen to it. Yep. But then it went yeah, in well, a good direction. Like, it started well, off in a waiting. bad place. Like, you know, he's he's people are jerks. He started off no, music. He started in a great place because he started off with Journey. I don't know. I mean, like, because like, I was like, I have this power metal playlist sitting here, but I'm going to wait till the run starts. In the mm-hmm. meantime, I'm just going to go through my music and see what yeah. I feel so like. So by chance, it went well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by chance, it went well because he played Journey and, and he didn't uh, play power metal. Revan exactly. just belted it out. Yeah. And Revan just started singing. Don't hate on power metal, you two. And everything just went uphill from like. Revan was a star like, at the start, and then it just became awesome. Like, everything just became oh, yeah. awesome. So, so it eventually became five dudes and Mumble singing along to Meatloaf. Uh, and others. Like, other people just and randomly I, and others, joined the yes. channel. and that, yeah. It was sp- rather spectacular. I, the best part about it all is that it's all archived and during the stream. Um, yeah, get that, it now while you can. Because, Jesus. Will it still be up by the time this podcast goes yeah. up? Yeah, I, I saved it forever, so it's not going anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Cynic was saying some sort of nonsense like you no, couldn't. I'm like, some that videos doesn't make do sense. disappear. No, no, no. If I forget to, then it goes away within two weeks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but I made sure as soon as we were done that night, I went on there and immediately saved it to ensure that that never got lost. The way it starts is fantastic. Yep. Yeah, so like I didn't start it. like I didn't start that video when we actually originally started. Um, but it was about five minutes after. So there's well, It was really like that. we were all doing it, and then you were like, oh, man, I should be streaming this. And I was just like, well, why don't you? <laughs> so yeah if you need a reason to join our guild that is pretty much it uh tonight actually after we are done with recording uh it's going to be dubstep night on, on mumble <laughs> i downloaded um a ukf album with like oh, well, fuck like a guys. mix of all different artists and it can we ban them like the can last we banish track them into a channel cynic like the last track <laughs> is a 62 minute like they mix. can't bring the jukebox out. great of it. so uh, okay the, before i forget i i, I cannot 
in this without um, saying that how the night actually ended was probably the best. Um, the song we ended on was... I don't think you should ruin it, but you should say it was spectacular, okay. apparently. Well, oh, yeah, it was, it was pretty much the best way we could possibly end it. And then once the singing was over, um, Shin Boy enabled the mumble rule of no singing and kicked everybody. <laughs> yep. I was just like, mumble law must be enforced. Kick. <laughs> no singing on mumble. Yeah. I was, yeah. It was, it was, it was a good, this is going to be a thing going forward. Like, um, oh, is it? Oh, absolutely. This is not karaoke? a one-off. Yeah, definitely. I, I realized, not, not after was, last it, was it Subs who reminded me or Insane Shadow Boy? One of those two. We were talking, we were talking like well into the night on mumble to like maybe 4.35 <laughs> in the morning. Yep. And I still had my jukebox on just playing random music. Mm-hmm. And one of them mentioned to me, was like, you didn't play any Queen. And I was like, oh, shit, oh, shit. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. So clearly, <laughs> to be honest, like happen. nothing's yeah. more more annoying than people singing on Mumble. I can say that <laughs> as a person who never sings on Mumble. It's also, so we don't come on to Mumble on a Friday night. Well, we did this, this in our own channel. Be a thing? Like it was our it own channel, so like haters can like the Wolf of Guys was still like hardcore Wolf Wolfing in their own like main. Oh channel. yeah, those guys. Um, yeah, those jerks. The Dungeoneers probably, have the real. Probably should fun. also say, uh, I believe it was Crusarian, uh, the one who had his magnificent Milo solo, uh, who was was pretty wasted by that point in the night. <laughs> uh, Rayos is pretty hammered too. Was, was it Rayos? Oh which man! One of them, which one of them was two wine bottles in? That was Jeez. Crusarian, but Rayos okay. is the one every five minutes is like, let me go grab another beer. <laughs> <laughs> and he was into right. some of those Bon Jovi songs. Oh Dude, yeah, those bon-, oh, yeah. bon Jovi again. Like I. I I have a, like a deep, dark love for Bon Jovi, and he totally repped hard that entire time. I'm character. proud that we are from the same town. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact: everyone in high school thought he was gay. Really? Well, I'm not. I'm not particularly surprised. Looking because at because he kept his hair in perfect shape and wore clogs every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Inside um, Baseball, Bon Jovi edition. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. I guess that's that's a podcast then. Uh, we're going to do plugs. Uh, we'll start with uh, Cynic. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we're doing the Scotchcast probably again, maybe. Um, podcast is all right. The name is not. Uh, yeah, we might we might oh, change up the name. It reminds me of that episode where Drink Durin. I know if we can change drink. the name now. We might have to I was change about the name to say later. Drink because he's an alcoholic. But hey, yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to change the name. I just don't know what to yet. Yeah, not yet. So we're gonna stick with Scotch Cast for now until we find something. Giant bomb cast. Uh, yeah, like shit cast. Giant bomb cast. Um, so it, it's it's a. I, I, I did put forward. I did put forward uh, the 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 motion to maybe name it uh, the What's Hitting Cast. I don't like what? that name. The What's Hitting Cast. So you know, yeah, the the. Well, do you explain what it was? Po- yeah. So basically, the whole point of the podcast is basically um, it's a podcast for. It's a podcast that we basically do while waiting for the bombcast to show up. Um, and so I, I, I thought about naming it after the purposely misspelled um, waiting room bombcast thread. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Okay. So I, 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 I've thrown that one out there. It's probably not going to happen. Yeah. But if anybody has any better ideas, uh, you know, send them to our email or something. But yeah, like, so essentially it is, if you, for some reason, like the first half of the Lincoln cast, where you talk about off topic shit. Um, there is no off topic on the scotch cast because everything's topical. We just talk about whatever the fuck we want to for what, like up to three hours. I think the last one was, yeah, I think, two, I think that last one was the, like the almost first three hours. Episode, the last one, you mean the only one, the first episode well, was yeah, 200, two minutes and 55, no, two hours, and 55 minutes, like pretty much and just probably under the first three hours. hour and 45 of that was planet side two and natural selection two. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so if you like that kind of bullshit, that's what we do there. Um, and I'll, that'll be at least for now on the same RSS as the linky cast. So I have to apologize to people who don't want that kind of bullshit in there. In the iPods, but hey, we we have to pay if we want another RSS at least for now. So we're gonna be like sounding it out. So I, I'm, yeah, I mean, we have some fun we're, we're guests trying, lined like, up. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're still feel, feeling it out right now, so that's that's part of the reason why it's still going on that same RSS. We don't want to, yeah. you know, commit to something else if fucking nobody listens to it, and then we just kind of abandon it anyway. Yep. Um, but yeah, but like yeah. I said, we have some some interesting guests lined up for uh, future episodes. Let's hope. If, let's hope they they show up. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna say hopefully they show, and then if it does, it's awesome. yeah. um, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who it is. We'll, we'll find, I'm no, not gonna set. No, no, we're, we're not gonna say until we have some more some more like exact like you know a little, little bit more concrete. That they yeah. are it's Kessler, isn't it? Oh, no, there there are people who have been interns. 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But we'll see. We'll Interns see. for what what site? We'll see. Uh, whiskey. Uh, this, this all, there's there used to be this kind of websites fine. called Whiskey Media. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but yeah. No, uh, actually, they I were haven't. around for a while. And they're, they're kind of like you know went the way of the dodo, but there, there are people who really like that site for some reason, and yeah. It's a little bit immature and stupid, so I don't follow that shit. <laughs> Did Whiskey Media actually ever <laughs> officially have like its own site? Uh, uh well, it had yeah. yes, yeah, it but did. it was just like yeah. a site that linked to the other sites. Oh yeah, it was like a business site. It was a business site. There was business. there was some blogging stuff on there too. I know, like Dave had a couple blogs that, uh, blog posts that were on there. Oh yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, no, so um, that's the Scotchcast. Yeah. So you'll you'll see it on this RSS. You don't have to change RSS feeds at least at the moment. We will let you know if things are happening there. All right. Any other plugs? No, I'm good. I have plugs. I'm it from Cynic. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm. That, that's pretty much it. At least for now, I think. I think I'm Anime only doing two podcasts a week. I don't know. Probably. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. New. I, I. I invite the people out there, any listeners who are interested in a Nubarama anime cast special to pester Nubarama oh, to do God it. Because I'm ready to yeah. produce it, like I do this and the Scotch cast. Would you produce our spoiler cast? That's what I cast. Yeah, I'll, I'll totally. Cast. Yeah, I'll totally produce that yeah. as well. Um. So, so coming down the pipe. Possibly, probably, yeah. and it will. We got to do that um, speculation is, cast. Is a speculation cast on future expansions and downloadable content with me and Shinboy and Cynic and some other people. Yeah. And next week and is probably going to be a spoiler with, cast for the end of um, Guild Wars 2, which is going to be yep. at least me and Noob and whoever else we can rope. Talking with. about the greatest cutscene in the history of video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The oh, greatest. Geez. And the best final mission in any video game ever, apparently. Jesus. Actually, kind of like final mission, except yeah. for the very end. Uh, anyway anyway so uh, so that's coming down the pipe um and like i'm now actively recruiting for thigh crushingly adorable tag dfc and the workers party of tyria dprt because i got bored one night and i made a bunch of guilds um so uh what is it called admission forms are in so for workers party of tyria you need to send a resume and a cover letter and the other you need to fill out a multifaceted test regarding your flat chestiness and a couple of you know questions maybe your background your political affiliations etc it's nothing serious um and that's about it actively recruiting scarily enough he yes. already has one person who at least yep. filled out the application form oh, God. no wait, he hasn't filled out the, wait, app- the application, the application. Real? wait hold on wait what you can actually fill out the application i well, didn't realize the application was real I, I thought you were bullshitting all of that no, no. I, I wrote it i wrote oh, it god wrote damn it. it oh man that makes it 10 it's times a better <laughs> check and a quiz on you know like just value did just you make it on some really shady survey site <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure he just PMs you the list of questions. That's how shady it is. Oh, that's even better. Facebook. Yeah, it's way better. You, you message me with like your Guild Wars name, and I message you back on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how it goes, at least for now. Oh, God, uh, it's just going real bad. Uh, <laughs> recruiting. Just Shane. dark. Just dark. Shin boy, anything? Oh, not really. I have my site, but I haven't written anything on it in weeks because... Plug and play gaming? Yeah. There are, like, no games that I... Like, no new games, anyway, that I've been bothering to review because I haven't really been playing any of them. Mm. And this is not video game news season, so... Yeah. yeah. This is just like, oh, everything's releasing. Um, Except there's one thing uh, that I wrote. If you, for some strange reason, enjoy my writing style, um, the one of the guys that I run Plug and Play Gaming with, he has, like I say, where he talks about metal music, and I wrote a review over there. That is metalarmory.com. It's for the new Winter Sun album. It's pretty good. You should listen to it. That's about it. Fucking metal. I I don't mind metal music. I just don't. (laughs) I don't like... See, I don't take it seriously. That's the thing. I'm not just like, (laughs) oh my god, metal is the fucking end-all, be-all of music. I like it because it's dumb. All right. Yeah, okay. That, that's a valid yeah, reason okay, to appreciate that's, something. Well, that's, see, that's it, the first like, time I've heard that, so that's cool. It's it's twofold. It's like, I like it because it's dumb, yet also a lot of the music is legitimately well done and put together. But yeah, at least you can admit it's, it's, it's dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is so dumb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the only thing I'm going to plug is is my Twitch channel, and, and only... If only because thing, glorious things like the karaoke night happen on there randomly occasionally. Oh, God. You need to check, um, so, need to check that out. It is yeah, so, go check so that embarrassing. Twitch.tv slash Duran. Um, I would probably just recommend go ahead and subscribe to it if you like things like that karaoke night. Mm-hmm. Because they do just kind of randomly happen. <gasps> All right. Like kind of notice. Yeah. So uh, when they happen, if you are subscribed to the channel, you'll get an email letting you know that we are live doing our crazy shenanigans. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it won't always be like that, though. I will sometimes be streaming other games or just kind of streaming our explorable runs, even when we're not singing music. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Like I said, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Duren. Um, that's pretty much it for plugs then. Um, oh, no, it's yeah. not. It's not. So yeah, oh, God. Me, but... facebook.com slash the Lincoln Cat. Oh, God. Like Almost got us out of here. Almost. God damn it. Oh. Edit out and post. Edit it out and post. It's uh, I mean, I mean, it's no editing. There's no editing. The Lincoln Cat. <laughs> no, there's, yeah, there's no, no, no. Not to make All an right. exception. Can be fucked. That is episode 28. Otherwise, episode... we'd have an arena net person here if we did do that. Uh, that would, that would require day. us not having noob on the podcast, I think. Probably. Yeah. It's, it's easier than editing. Um, that is episode 28. That's mean. Uh, you guys thanks are mean. everybody for listening. I'm signing off right now because you guys are mean. Noob Rabbit doesn't have friends. We're his friends. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.